And welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing some Kalina in the Jungle. We're going kind of a weirdo build. We're doing Bobble and Bluestone. Bobble's pretty popular at the moment. Obviously, I am going to mess with the recent Bobble buffs. Of course. How could I not? Um, I mean, I messed with it, you know, a long time ago when it came out. I had a lot of fun with it. And then Hi-Rez is like, what if we made it so it's really bad? And then they finally made it. So it's good again. Uh, and if anybody wants to know the, the take, um, I feel like this is like actually just straight up true. I don't even think it's a take. The way you balance Bobble right now, because like Bobble, if anybody's feeling like it's OP, I think a decent amount of people think it's potentially OP at the moment. Um, you just simply take stats off of it that are not cooldown is, is the simple way to balance it. Because right now Bobble, at least for physicals, 40 power, along with upping your cooldown cap and then probably getting to it if you're building right, is uh, is a lot but you can just simply tone down the stance a decent bit. Like they could go like from 40 power to 25 power. And I think mages have like 60 power. They could turn that down to like 30 or 40 or something like that. That alone should balance it out quite a bit. We're not going to bother going right. I don't think there's too much gank potential for us. There is for them, but I don't think there is for us. So we're just going to simply farm mid. But yeah, we're going clean up. I just had an absolute disaster game with this. Not for me, but for my teammates. So hopefully this game goes a little better. Already off to a good start where right got ganked and then didn't do anything bad. They simply kept their health intact and backed off. Great sign to start. I think we actually dash this just to make sure we're getting it. I don't get to go left here. Pretty sure they're getting right mids with Bastet. Um, yeah, our team, I'm trying to remember, the game ended, I think, like 11 to 38, and then I was 7 and 2 and did 40k damage. So <laughs> that was not a fun one, and I did stop recording it. My mid died like five times in five minutes. Man simply could not stop. Just absolutely rammed his face down the middle lane 24-7 and died. Oh, I think we make our way left here. Bastet's still looking to gank right. I don't think we're really getting to do much over there. Yeah, they're pretty healthy. Clean early game's really bad. Um, by the way, Bluestone, generally not very good in the jungle. Back in Season 10, Kalina, Kalina jungle with Bluestone was like meta for a little bit. It's definitely not right now. We don't really get a fight here. I just want the... Uh, we're going to end up splitting a little farm and, and confirming the, the scepter for this guy. Is all we're going to do. We're just going to find a little something to do with ourselves. There we go. We get that. I'm going to give that to him because he definitely uses it better than I do here. Although it could, like, that's actually maybe enough damage. I actually get a properly bully. Finally do some decent damage ourselves, but I'll let him have it. Keep winning his lane and whatnot. But yeah, with Bluestone, we're basically going it for late game. Even though it has been nerfed compared to, compared to older Bluestone Brooch. Bluestone Brooch on Kalina pretty much forever has been absolutely disgusting. She's got so much poke for it. Really, really menacing item. And so right now, I feel like whether you go Bluestone or a number, normal jungle starter on Kalina, she's just bad early game. And it, you really feel it. Like right now, I feel like the, the meta picks in jungle are nowhere near as bad as Kalina early game. And she just feels awful. I want to make sure we actually get this real quick. So hopefully we still get to split all this with Janice in a sec. Looks like he's being nice about it and pulling it all over still. Um, but yeah, so we kind of just sacrifice a little more early game. We ironically actually do more damage in PvP, but but our clear is worse, so it's harder to farm a little bit. Right. See, I think I'm just going to start doing this, and then hopefully he gets over here. And then if I get ganked, we're in trouble. But it's looking like we're good, and then we'll back on this. There you go, have buff. Have fun, have buff. We'll start working on Soul Eater a little bit. Soul Eater got buffed. There's a lot of different item changes that are making Kalina feel really nice right now. Bluestone is not one of them. Bluestone's just, I just kind of decided to cook a little bit. We're doing Bluestone Jungle in 2024. I had to check the year on my computer right there. Uh, <laughs> I actually had to look over. I forgot. Getting old, man. I'm getting old. The years aren't as iconic anymore. There are so many years back in the day where I absolutely knew what year it was. It is funny how that works, man. I feel like... I've probably talked about this on the channel before. The moment you get out of school, I feel like time goes so differently. It's not even necessarily that it flies. It's just like you keep track of it so much more. This is a weirdo gank, but I think it works. Yeah, we played that pretty well. We had to kind of min-max our distance a little bit there. Nice. That'll finish him off. We actually get last hits there too, which is really nice. Um... Yeah, Uller was sleeping on the gank, so we were able to pretty much guarantee the little double hit of our dash there. Which, by the way, it's been a little while since we played clean. I'll try and showcase it. There's like no buffs up. Never mind. Um, I'll showcase it on Titan here. 
If we clip into the Titan, but then also hit the cone, we can basically land both parts of our three. We don't have to go through somebody in 180. Normally it's not about, uh, it's not that it's bad to go through someone in 180. It's just kind of, you're, you're basically just taking extra time for it. Sometimes it messes up your positioning a little bit. Sometimes it's better to try and get a little more min maxi. Don't know if we're getting to help him at all. No, he is just dead. That's too bad. That's okay. They get a kill on solo. We get two kills on duo. That's not bad at all. And he probably just got a little bit greedy. He probably ulted in lane and then stuck around, making it pretty easy for Bastet to gank. Yeah, Soul Eater got a buff recently, which is nice. Soul Eater was feeling pretty bad. Now it's feeling a lot better. Like, we're just going to ult this because my clear sucks. My two and my one don't really do damage yet, so we'll just try and make sure we actually get the mid camp. See if uh, if Janice wants to come over to this. They might want to go for Meteor. Is she actually going in here? I don't think I get to do anything. No. Yeah, I'm hoping we can actually get all this farm, and hopefully Soma gets that as well. Give me that, thank you. Yeah, the normal build that we're starting off with, very normal other than the bluestone part, is just straight up Soul Eater and a Jotun's Vigor, which feels really good right now. Oh my god, there are some people down there. It's too bad he doesn't have old backup yet. <laughs> Has it really been that long, man? I think that just kind of happens sometimes, you know? Can I actually look to do some stuff here? That was a good pull from Sobek, too. Oh, he goes for that, huh? I think he dies to Shard here soon. Or just Janus ult. Nice, good body block. We juke that. Hope the silence goes off in time. It did not. Or are we going to help her? Whoop. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I feel bad, man. The portal did not go where I thought it would. Oh, and we got our dash silence. I think she just dies, though. Nice. Damn, we are getting... Oh, Sobek! You shouldn't have... I don't think that's what he wanted to do, but that was kind of cool, too. Man, just yoinked that shot for us. <laughs> I'm assuming he wanted to pluck Nox. It's too bad that he doesn't get to. Not much you get to do about it. All right, well, we will actually go back to base. I have no manas. He doesn't really need to be careful, but I have no manas. All right. Um, yeah, so... Soul Eater into Jotun's Vigor is super normal right now for, for clean and builds like this. These gods like this can actually really get some value out of the cooldown power and ability life seal. But then from there, we get nice and spicy. We're about to get that blue totem. So we're going to be able to get up to 40% cooldown with that. And then from there, we just go straight up third item bobble. So whenever we have a buff and we have it on the blue totem, we're going to have 50% cooldown at like 13, 15 minutes, probably somewhere around there on a god that's very, very cooldown dependent. Um and becomes increasingly cooldown dependent the deeper we get in the game and the more we're like actually able to use them. Absolute spammer, basically a magical, or I guess physical mage. I was gonna say magical assassin, it's the opposite. Okay, what is happening down here, man? This is why he's actually dead. <laughs> okay, I know he's gonna tilt, but this is actually bad. And we get to scoop the chaos. And I'm gonna assume Sobek's not mad about it because he's support. I know he's mad about it, but like, this is actually so terrible on Bastet's part. I don't know what she's doing. She has denied herself so much farm to into a Phoenix. Don't think we're doing anything here. Okay, I shouldn't need to be here for purple buff. That man needs all the farm he can get. I will, I will maybe linger a little bit because they really do seem to be Inting for Hachimon? Like, I don't know if there's beef? I don't know. What the hell is going on over here? Let's see, do I actually wait for this? I think I do. I think we wait for this to spawn real quick. Yeah, and then from the Bobble, we're going to go... I guess it depends on the game. This game, we don't need any anti heal, So I think from Bobble, we'll end up going into Heartseeker Crusher. We'll get 20% pen. We'll go Bluestone Brooch. We'll have all the procs. We'll have crazy cooldown. Should be good. Uh, I think we go, unless he changes this for me like the nicest person ever, which he didn't, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> he also, you know, he might have thought it was trolling me. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go get Jotun's done right here. Oh my god, this sentry off. You know what? Just to try and win a little favor back here. I don't even feel like I really messed up. They're actually just inting at Hachimon. Um, like, it hasn't been good for him, even though it is tilting him. Oh, wait, they already have a sentry. God damn it, man. Yeah, I was going to sentry his lane. Well, that sucks. On my way. See, he probably needs help with Uller here. 
But also, there's too much stuff happening, man. I need to be everywhere. Okay, no way I actually get a dash on her here. We gotta hold it. Here we go. Now it's looking ju Oh, please. Okay, I am dying a little bit. We gotta watch out for Bastet, otherwise we're chilling. I think we'll go see if we can actually life seal off a camp down here. Probably can. I don't have Jotun's Vigor right now. Otherwise, we can actually heal a decent bit. What do we get? Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's not bad. We did actually heal. Let's see if we can heal a little bit more up here. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this, man. I really like that they took off the penalties for Bobble, and I am totally okay with, like I said, see how she wants to play this. Somehow that didn't hit her. That is crazy, man. And then we should kill her in a sec, but I can't shard in here. I goofed. I goofed. I'm actually dead. No, I'm not. Oh. Yeah, if we were just a little bit cleaner with that dash there. Not a pun. <laughs> if, we were, if we were just a little bit cleaner. Sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. It was bad the first time and I didn't even actually say it. Why the hell did I go back for round two? Yeah, then, then that would have been a pretty clean kill. Yeah, it sucks I can't shard in the wall. It's a little messed up, high res. No, it makes sense. There's only so much... Oh! They're just inting? This is just awful? Okay, Nox is OP. Like, they are dying. Don't get me wrong. But Nox is OP. Just casually silencing my shit like that. Stop going that way. Oh, she did it anyways, huh? Don't think we get a killer. Oh, well, maybe. You guys gotta finish it off, though. Nice. You could not be taking more tower shots there. Nice. Not bad, man. Not bad. I mean, they did basically just int it blue buff, so... <laughs> but still, pretty good fight for us. See, I actually do not need this, so I'll give it to him. Does he need it? Yeah, just a little bit. We'll start working on Bobble because we already got the Jotun's Vigor finished up. Yeah, look at the stats on this, man. 2450, 40 power, some MP5, CDR, and then the, the cooldown cap increase. Like, that is not a bad item at all. It's one of those things where when you're getting an item like this, it's kind of a game changer that sort of, like, changes the rules of, like, how your stats work in Smite. You probably are going to just typically need to lower stats on it a little more. You know, like, if you got something that, like, raised the prot cap in a meta where that was something you'd feasibly be hitting, then, then you probably need to nerf the stats, right? Like, imagine if Corrupted Redstone had crazy stats. Meanwhile, it's getting you to, like, 400 prots while it's procced. Um, because it does do that, but it kind of has potato stats. Like, other than the fact that you get nutty, nutty prawn out of it, it's not all that good. Doesn't counter ADCs all that hard, just a little bit. Doesn't do that much damage. You have to knock a warrior's axe on a warrior, which is literally in the name. Okay, we got Wiggly with him, but we do need to help the middle lane. Oh, whoops. I assumed she would keep chasing there. That is big whiffs! Oh, they juke the other way. Oh, I'm greeting. You are crazy if you think I'm not greeting there. I think we live these? Oh, maybe not now. Just barely. Yeah, my three, uh, I wanted to juke him there. And that did not happen. OP character. <laughs> Bro, you're on my team. Don't say it to me, man. No, they goofed that. They stacked so hard. Is Clean OP? I don't think Clean is OP right now. Maybe she is. I've played her quite a bit lately. I have gotten, I think, three games where I've done over 70k damage. I could be wrong. Maybe it's only been two. I specifically remember a 70k and an 80k game. And I think there's been another one. So, that is a little absurd. However, um, you know, she is also practically a mage. And mages can do that. See, do we actually get a kill him here? Does he goof at all? Don't think there is any way. That is a tanky boy. I do respect the effort from Tyr, though. <laughs> didn't, didn't expect it. I do respect it. <laughs> Did not think he would ult himself on in there. But if it hit, we probably could have killed. Oh, yeah, that is a tanky boy. Honestly, I could have just peeped the build and known what was coming there. Okay, he's doing totems. So we're just going to drop this.
Probably gonna make my way over to duo more here. We're getting so much success in the middle lane. Um, like these fights are really juicy and it's pretty easy to frequently fight. I mean, we've been a part of a stupid amount of kills. Let's see if he actually gets dove here. Looks like he's good. Yeah, I was ready to just drop that if he actually got chased at all. Um, yeah, I'm just getting like spoon fed kills over here in the middle lane. These fights are so good. But I do think we probably need to make our way duo more. Okay, we'll try and get just a little bit more farm ideally, and then go get Bobble done, and then and then already be hitting our new and improved cooldown cap. I love it, man. By the way, I would not normally recommend. Um, I don't even know if this is. It's probably not even worth rushing it this hard on Kleena, to be honest. However, in my experience playing her lately, it has actually felt surprisingly crazy. I honestly started with the Bobble, just thinking it'd be fun to spam as hard as we can on Kleena. And then quickly ended up finding, like, wait, this is actually way better than I thought it would be. And the simple reason is six second dash cooldown on Kalina is crazy. That's a simple reason. As well as being more spammy with ult. Since we had that, that charge up ult, you know? Nice, we actually get the slow on him, we keep him silenced. Never mind, we don't at all. <laughs> Never mind, the silence DR was so crazy there that it actually didn't do anything. Because he was still coming off the pluck. I think we just get to do this. What's crazy, this is an even game right now. We gotta be careful. I gotta make sure that I'm staying alive. They were playing fight smart. Like, I'm getting fed as hell. I'm feeling good. 8 0. Oh, but then also, like, this gold is. Oh my god. This gold that we almost lost, by the way. Try and get the. It's too bad. I actually should have beads. Nice. Yeah, I should have pre beads that so that we could have gotten the silence off. But it worked out. This guy might end. Oh, he's so low. Get him! <laughs> Don't worry, champ. That's worth. That's mental damage inflicted. Oh my god, man. Yeah, let's go get Heartseeker. King Sobek. By the way, in the name, Greed. Greed Gold. B both names. We get gold and then he greeds. Oh my god. That's poetic, man. All right, let's see. Oh, he's actually sticking around. We might get to do something to Gilg here. As we found last time, he is an absolute unit. We'll see if he actually sticks around at all. No, he backed. That's okay. I probably should have actually cleared wave there after he backed, but that's all. That's all right. Maybe get a yoink a blue buff from him, see if it happens to be up. He might have TP'd back as well. We're not going to dash it just in case I get massacred for it. Is not dying right now is pretty important for me. I'm going to be worth so much money. Wow, they didn't pull my speed down there. They just did the red. The respect. It would have been okay if they took speed. I would have come to terms. Oh, he is very alone up there. Was worrying me a little bit. Let's see if we can try and force Pyro soon. We got to be getting objectives. Yeah. Yeah. Do I get farm for this? Science. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to science, man. <laughs> that makes sense that he thought I was a baby. That's funny. I mean, I guess in a way I was, but not in the way he was thinking. It's been so long since I've, like, gotten to do that. Oh, he may be clean up. He's going to be really far from best set here. Yeah, I don't know if we gotta do much. You greedy girl! Oh, was she actually... I assumed... Oh. Ooh! Yoink! Yeah, look at the cooldown spam here. Oh, if that ult hit... If that ult hits, I, uh, maybe dash. On his face, not away. Hang on, we get back in the wall. Oh, come to mama! So close. Yeah, I kind of got to get the silence there for us to go in. Otherwise, we're just dying. Trying to do what I can to help out. It really sucks that I can't blink there because the archers. Hang on. We get here to peel. Try and kick me, buddy. Wait, am I dying anyways? Okay, I thought that'd be better. <laughs> I thought that would be better. It was not at all. All right. That's too bad. 
Yeah, I probably should have just called the retreat there, to be honest. I'm not really super adamant about winning this game or anything. But that fight was just realistically pretty bad and greedy the entire time. And I think if I just simply told them to dip, they probably would have. Those are the most fun fights on Kleena, though. It's what she's so good at. It's just kind of lingering, being around, being a nuisance, doing a lot of damage anyways, dipping into a wall every 15 seconds, making them hate life. All those good Kleena things. That's too bad. I was hoping she'd stay greedy there. Try and go for the Janus again. One thing that is a little bit rough for us, when we have this blue stone proc throughout the game, it is a lot harder to actually blink. I felt like Aegis just kind of doesn't make much sense this game. Um, in a decent amount of games, it's actually really good to go Aegis on Kalina. But, like this game, they're really... Like, Aegis normally is only going to stand out if I just really need to mitigate any little bit of damage I can. Or, like, I'm, my beads are already down and I know I'm about to get comboed, and so I'm just, like, trying to buy time. Be annoyed. Okay, they are trying to bully. I don't think they get to. Yep, that's what we like to see. Okay, that's not what we like to see. Okay, we need our tier, man. Got a little bit done there. We get in the wall. Try and get in here in just a sec. Uh, I am probably done. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I almost got my dash off. That was about to be a bobble diff right there. Yeah, these fights are brutal, man. If I have beads there, that fight's pretty different, though. Forgive me, Master. Janus is also not... Ooh, that is rough. Not doing damage even though he's landing it. Uh oh Oh, no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay. I don't know what his cooldowns are. He maybe actually could have turned that. If he had red stance remotely soon, he could have gotten a little greedy with it. Brother. It didn't go well last time. Now you're down a blink. You want to go for it this time? He does. He's feeling it. Oh, he's in there. He's out of there. Tell me they kill. Oh, <laughs> no, dear. No, no, no. Does so bad going to clean up? I don't think he does. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, they are chasing way too deep. Yeah. Honestly, from Sobek, it was it was pretty all right to chase the way he did and just hope that, you know, the dueler goofs and ends up dying. I don't know what Tyr was expecting to happen, though. On my way. See if we actually get to do anything here. I think we got to go in the wall. Oh, that is not remotely dead. I just got to be a menace. Be careful. I do have beads, but we're mostly just trying to buy some time here. Maybe I actually should have beads. I'm dead. I should have beads. I didn't think we'd die there, but Noxville did a lot of damage. Yeah. That's kind of rough. Our beads matters a lot this game, so I'm going to try and greed it where I can. Obviously, that wasn't a good one to greed, though. Because basically, like, if we get Nox comboed and we don't have beads and they have any follow-up, I am just guaranteed dead. Not even comboed, if they just won me. It's just kind of what her god does, so we got to be pretty careful with it. Oh, Hachi doing some damage. That was clean. Oh, my God. The great escape, too. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. <laughs> just run away and back. <laughs> Fell out of there, man. Let Tyr take one for the... Oh, my God. Janus is getting in there. Janus is somehow not dead yet. <laughs> this game is a cloud fest, man. What the hell is happening? It's really tough right now. They're they're putting so much um attention on me. It's really difficult to do anything. I'm going to have to play a little more cautious going forward for sure. Nice. You going to start getting kills. I probably shouldn't have gone for that speed. In general, it's a pretty good idea to get speed buff on your way to a fight like this, but that fight was on the other. If we had the, the right side speed buff, it would have been okay. This one was probably kind of troll. Hopefully you don't have jump. 
Oh, I didn't hit the ult, huh? Did it put <laughs> I was hoping it would put him through it there. There we go. Okay, a little more money for Bluestone would be great. Get our procs going. Why doesn't this... Imagine if Kalina 3 did damage to towers. That'd be so satisfying. Just give it a big whack. By the way, 28 second cooldown ult right now. Not bad at all. I guess we'll actually place our sentry. We'll get Bluestone going. Uh-oh. That was a very random gank on tier for him. Yeah, I think this game, it's looking pretty good. It's still very even on money, but it's looking pretty good as long as I can keep myself alive and impactful. I think we're chilling. But that is very much easier said than done, because these recent fights, they are focusing the absolute shit out of me. And while I'm cleaner, so like, I can deal with it. Um, They do have Bastet, Nox, Bacchus, Gilg. And honestly, like, every god on their team has good CC. A lot of them have ridiculous CC. So... Even slight missteps can get us super punished. Although, to be fair with Gilg, it's not as bad because we can immune some of his stuff. We got a decent matchup. Attack. I think this is actually a pretty good gank here. Be careful, metal. Okay, I'm going to hope that they're chilling and we could actually go on the Gilgamesh. Because I think Gilg gets pretty punished here. Okay. Nice. That was good, that was good. Hopefully we get a Punisher. <laughs> she went back into the old. That's unfortunate. Oh, can't be whiffing those. I actually got really punished by Uller for whiffing that. Okay, this is greedy on my part, but I do kind of want to linger because he might get greedy. Tell me we reach. Should kill him in a sec. Uh-oh. Might be doing some dying here. Try and bait the Bacchus flop, maybe? Maybe not. Alright. Hopefully we get a heal a little bit. See if Hachi will come over. Yeah, if Hachi wants to come over, we have a decent shot at this. Oh my god, I actually life steal pretty decent off this. Considering I'm assuming it's nerfed just like uh, auto life steal is. Oh, that's my. Maybe you should have ulted that. That was my last ult. Oh, that is just unlucky, man. Yeah, we had tier kind of too far up looking for Nox. Sobek didn't go off to actually peel. That's too bad. We also got decently unlucky losing that, but we do kind of need the tanks to go off and CC there. It's not really on. <laughs> it's not really on secure. We still overall have good odds. It's just about actually zoning the one person that can contest. And I don't really get to because I don't have beads there. I've already got to be hoping I don't get deleted. Oops, that's not what we want. That's okay. It does suck, but it's okay. You should. You should probably stop queuing with that guy. Them getting fire is a pretty big deal here. All right, we don't have beads for a little bit. You have the bomb too. That is true. I could have thrown the bomb. Bomb is not remotely an auto secure, but actually would have been a good idea. Man, let me poke down the. Wait, who is it? The Uller? The Uller. Nice, we got a little immune out of that. I'm getting absolutely melted anyways. I don't even know what the hell hit me there. I do want to get in here if I can. Oh my god. <laughs> that is an absolutely... Oh! That is an absolutely crazy portal from Janus, man. Too bad it didn't really matter. I don't know if Hachi was defending anything meaningful there or not. I think he might have kind of trolled defending, defending left lane. Hopefully get a punish this guy here. That's too bad. Oh my god, he's so tanky against me, man.
Okay, he dies someday. <laughs> someday he actually falls. Okay, not too bad. Nox got a little split push while we defended right, but we did defend right. We wiped basically all their fire giants. I'll take it. I did lose beads though, which sucks. I had to beads, um... I don't even remember if I beads for immunity. I think I might have beads for dash cooldown. Which is yet another thing. When you're getting these these quick upgrades from the, um... Whatever you... I don't remember what you call it, but like the things they added so you just automatically upgrade relics over time. As you do certain things, you get quests done or whatever. But getting that beads upgrade and combining that with Bobble is pretty insane. On basically anybody, not even just Kleena. Because, like, we have a six-second dash cooldown. That's already nutty. We can now <laughs> we can now instantly beads and make it three seconds. And then realistically, a lot of time, by the time we are beadsing for cooldown, it's already been down three seconds. And, and we just instantly get our stuff back up. And that's pretty nice. It's too bad, man. I want to do some bobbled here, but it can't be good. Because he gets, he gets messed up by his switch stance. If we could do some absolutely stupid cooldown resets on tier, that'd be so much fun, but that doesn't really work that well for him. Alright, maybe do a little... Hmm. I was going to say do a little pyro, but it's probably just kind of baiting. Yeah, we can maybe get in the wall here. Oh? Yeah, that's juicy. That's good. Okay, okay. If he's looking for an ult, we can maybe take the ult. I want to see if Nox goes here. I don't have beads, though. I really want to go on her. I think it's stupid. Because I can chase pretty far, and the fact that she toot already makes it a lot easier to do so. Ow! Am I dead? I literally got saved by ability life seal there. And I might die anyways to these minions. I gotta make sure I hit him before they <laughs> before they hit me. <laughs> I know Gilg was chasing, otherwise I would have just backed there. Uh high res? Well that explains a little bit, man. I was like, how are we dying to Noxel? This did 1600 damage. Unless it's bugging, but that six tick seems like it would be one. Like no way it's counting her last Nox ult on me, right? In what fucking world, man? Nice. I wanted to peel as hard as we could there. That's the only reason I fire blinked. Actually, maybe get to do stuff here. Okay, they didn't actually go for him. I'm surprised. They actually weren't greedy. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am? Do I get a Punisher? Gilg stuck around, but I don't care. That cat blocked my shit. That sucks. I'll at least call that out. That's not really a worth use of our beads there. I do think uh, if our two doesn't get blocked by Bastet Cat, which I which I hate as an option, man. High res really do outdo themselves sometimes with the pet meta. With the Calder and Bastet Cat and Nuon minions and all that shit. Vulcan turret I'm okay with. My god, it's so annoying. That sucks. We really need those beads. If we get a pick for it, it'd be okay, but not getting a pick is kind of brutal. And I do actually have to beads that, or I should just get massacred. Okay, hopefully we can group have a proper fight. I feel like we haven't particularly had those. And it should change how things go a decent bit. I am tempted to greet a dash. I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, my one's already up, by the way. <laughs> how neat is that? Okay, Hachi pushing out left is fine. We gotta chill a little bit for now. Why does this do a hundred hit, man? Oh my god. Oh, she's just eating that. Yeah, I said the thing. You can take a shot. That's fine. Did he actually kill her? Good stuff, man. Try and get over here for Janus. I was feeling that one a little too much, I'll admit it. Ow? You know what? I'm gonna say it. Damage numbers in this game might be a little broken. There might be a little... Tier really does just try and go way too hard sometimes, doesn't he? Uh... Hang on, hang on. 
I really wish I got to do more. I can't afford to dash that. I need to stay alive so badly. I'm gonna be honest, I, don't think anyone I was really hoping Uller would path with him. Oh my god, we barely got out of that. We're dead. I don't know why she's here. She is. We're dead. We lose game. It was a fun one. That is tragic, man. <laughs> and not only that, but the reason we're even up there getting picked is because of the tier int under tower. It was a very random rotation. There's no world I expect her to be where she is. God, it's crazy. Maybe he could have gone for that there. Oh! How the hell did he get away with that? Oh, he's cooking. <laughs> this is god tier movement from Sobek, man. No, not to Calamitous. What is this stall? <laughs> He's still alive! <laughs> this is I'm, I don't wanna I don't wanna respawn, man. What is happening? No! <laughs> That is tragic. Just the slow fall of greed gold. The Sobek god. By the way, they didn't win game off that. I don't know if they just like... I don't know if they end up going for end there if Sobek doesn't stall Nox for two years. They really shouldn't have chased down Sobek, but obviously, you know, Nox assumed she would kill him about like 30 seconds earlier, if not more. Oh. Right. I thought they were on that, you know? Uh, he might get a little... That's too bad. If he wanted to jump on me there, I'd just get a 1 to immune. Okay, we burn beads, but they temporarily don't get fire. But they're probably just going to get fire now. <laughs> I really... The only reason I went in there at all is because, like, I thought I heard fire, and I assumed they'd be on it. Instead, we're just losing our relics, I guess. It's funny, man. Bacchus even flopped me like they were going for fire. That's honestly like a big, I don't know, I probably would have assumed they were on it anyways. But he basically did a zoning flop. But maybe they were on it. Maybe they just happened to get off and they just didn't really follow up when I got CC'd. I don't know. I don't know. This is a rough one, man. This is a very clean -a game right here. We go 14 and 3. We do a lot of damage. We have a lot of impact. Um, but she's such a damage dealer. And not it, not remotely like a kill secure, not an initiator. She has almost no crowd control. The crowd control she does have is not at all good for initiation. It's just kind of something you work in as you're fighting somebody. It's also cancelable. So, uh, yeah, we maybe do a little bit. Probably only a little bit though. Yeah, even when we do crazy damage in a game like this, it's definitely... There are better gods to play in terms of just guaranteeing a win. I feel like I've played her well, too. We've gotten picked so little, and it's such an easy game to get picked. I want to do things to him. <laughs> Hachi one doesn't hit wards. Ow. I am getting my ass beat. Oh, I'm just dead. I couldn't hear anything, man. That's too bad. Yeah, we kind of just didn't have our, our boys group for it. It just is what it is. We just get run down and lose right there. Man! Feels bad. We do get to check the damage stance after, though, and I'm sure they'll be juicy. I don't think they'll be 70k juicy, but I think they'll be pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's built. It's pretty nice on Kalina. Like, the amount of cooldown resets we're getting in these fights. We get crazy lifesteal. We do good damage. Um, and we're so spammy. It's really hard to do much to her. Like, if we just had a different game there, um, you know, if Tyr's able to do a little bit more and actually, like, CC in frontline a bit and we're getting a little less crazy hard CC'd, then we get to pop off so ridiculously hard. And even then, like, we still did 46k. But that's a game where I think easily if we get a little bit more out of the front line, we can probably do like 60, 70k in that time frame. Can do an absolutely stupid amount. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been.
Trying to write my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down